Protoss Hurdle number one is finished for Flash. Now it's Protoss Hurdle number two. He has three to complete, but can he do it? Second one is going to be against Hero. Hero is the next player up, a two-time Intel Extreme Masters champion and, of course, a world you know, finalist, a world yeah. championship finalist at the Intel Extreme Masters. It begins now. Can Flash make this run heroic? I think that's what this qualifiers turned into. With the recent Flash hype train from his Pro League performances mm. to that massive win over Parting to getting MVP to, to a certain degree, him and Zess carrying KT Rolster to the Pro League Championship. He's now playing in this qualifier. He's played so well so far. Can he do it? Can he go to Canada? We'll find out. Spawning up to the top right is the man himself representing KT Rolster. It is Flash. One complete, two to go. And down to the bottom left-hand corner, we have our... Whoopsie daisy, there we go. Down to the bottom left-hand corner, we have our blue Protoss representing CJ Entus. It is Hero, a hurdle indeed. Yeah, this is uh, pretty big here. I think both of these players um, in their own right will be feeling confident whoever wins this should be able to hopefully go to the Intel Stream Masters in Toronto with Pig Baby left over there. We did say Pig Baby play versus Hero before 2-0. I think Hero will be very keen on getting that rematch. Yeah. But let's already know. Let's talk about Flash a little bit here. He always opens Reaper Expand. The last game against Classic, he opened up Command Center first. And again, he's going to open up Command Center first here. So, you know, again, a very economy-focused build. And he's going to scout as well with the second SCV here. But Hero's got double gas. Hmm. So double gas, you, know, you shouldn't be doing anything off one base here, um, but definitely could be looking to throw down the Stargate fast, Twilight Council fast. Remember Hero, his big rise to fame was off the back of Blink play pretty much every single game against Terran. Yeah. And if he was aggressive in this series, I'd, be th I'd think to myself, maybe he's just not feeling it today because he was so aggressive against Big Baby. And now if he gets very aggressive against Flash, then uh, yeah. it's quite interesting. And oh, whoa, he just jets there and blocks. Yeah, this is going to be very difficult. Uh, I don't think, I'm not, I'm not expecting a Zalad. No, nor am I. <coughs> not, not at this point. He Even if he was to start one, he may end up cancelling if he doesn't go down there with a probe and then... So this is a huge advantage. Oh, he's just not going for it at all. For You're Flash, right. huge. Jeez. Command center first with an engineer in Bay Block. <laughs> oh, and look at that. This sad little probe gets down there and he's like, no. He's like, you're joking. You're joking, mate. And so Stalker, Stalker. Mothership Call. We're going to see another pylon being built off this uh, one base, which you don't really want to do very often here. You'd like to squeeze the Nexus in. Could push him to a one base here, which Flash must have eyes on. He needs to be seen if we're going to see a Stargate or you know, Twilight come down or Gateways come down. Mm, two barracks. Second one's about to finish up in the second. Uh, no gas is taken just yet. Will we see the engineering bay go down at the back of him for him? Um, for second now. Stalker pushing the Nexus. So delayed. Yeah. This is a great advantage for ah, him. There for we him. go. Yeah, so Stargate thought this might be the case. SCV is going to hang around. I imagine he'll hang around until the engineering bay is uh, cancelled. Then what we should see is obviously the Nexus being taken, but more importantly, here move out with the two Stalkers and Mothership Core to put a bit of pressure on. Yep. That would be the time I would imagine the SMV would go in and maybe he sees the Stargate. Yep. So Flash should cancel here in the last second. And then Stalkers, Mothership Core will move out. And I'm guessing in the next 10 seconds or so, the SMV will go in. And he may get the scout on the Stargate. He may not. We'll see. Moving a little bit. <laughs> Keeping himself hidden. Yeah, I do have you. <laughs> Chill out. Uh, one Stalker left at home, though. Yeah, um, yeah, very okay. clever. Okay, not going to give any easy access of uh, the SCV. Well, behind this, double gases have been taken for Flash. No engineering bay as of yet to hold on against some kind of Oracle play, which would be nice if he had a missile turret there, but he's rallying out quite a few Marines, which eventually should be able to push it away. But he may take some losses to the yeah, Oracle. he may. Um, but I, if I was Flash, I'd be expecting something like this. You should be with the, the, the amount you delayed. With the delay. Nexus still yeah. isn't even completed. It's so far. Yeah. So CV is being very patient. He's, uh, you know, looking to see if there's a third Nexus 2 there. Uh-oh. There's mm. a Marine in the bunker. Yeah. Okay, never mind. He tried. It was a nice try, but... Yeah. What's the uh, oh, SCV uh, difference? Oh, he's saving up for two Oracles. Ooh. What's the SCV difference? Uh, 29 to 27. So good for Flash. Mm. With mules on top of that, Nexus only just being finished at 6.40. There's <laughs> a factory yeah. starts. It's so bad. Um, all right, so Flash has had a good boost in this game. SCVC is no fast third. 
And he's going to try and squeeze around. We'll see Gas is taking on the natural. That's one thing he will see. Yeah, poking around. Have but a look. Kranobus in the Nexus shows that he's trying to catch up. But now it's all about these guys. And he cleared out the watchtowers with the Stalker to make sure they wouldn't be spotted on their way over. If so he does a lot of damage here. Yeah. You know, Flash's advantage is gone. No missile turret. The Ram Marine's here in the main, but uh, now he sees it. And he's going to lose a lot of SCVs if he's not careful. Three, four, five, four, five. Almost five. Oop. In total, eight. Yeah, so far. It's quite good. It's actually putting the income lead in favor of uh, Hero. Ooh. Okay. So getting one Oracle is okay. Um, but he still has the nuisance also, of work another. Work a difference. Work a difference. 38 to 30. Wow. See, that's pretty big. That's good. Good moves. Good for Hero. Well done with these two Oracles. Third command center coming in from Flash. <laughs> He's even going for some Marines, because why not? Wow. These Oracles have got more than they're worth. Yeah. I like the Immortal too, because uh, one thing that Hero does have is obviously double Oracle in the sky, dealing out a lot of damage. But what does he have at home? Nothing. So I like the Immortals like a safety kind of net thing here yeah. that he can he can afford to do because he's done a lot of damage to Flash here with these double Oracles. He's okay to do this. And uh, he should have spotted the third command center as well, which means that uh, he knows that Flash can't be overly aggressive and not overly produce units here. I just see the small army move out as well, yeah. and he even will get double confirmation with the Stalker. Uh, so he knows exactly what's going on uh, every single turn, and he is now up in supply. So Hero's playing a good game so far. Yeah, he's caught up well, and he's, yeah. you know, ahead in supply. Uh, he's got a lot of gateways coming in now, too, and he's got the Colossus out, which are the ideal things to deflect any push-outs from uh, Flash. And I'd be expecting Hero to look for a third soon. Uh, definitely with a third command center already in for his opponent. He's killed off a lot of Marines left and right with these oracles. He doesn't want to take it too fast, though. Uh, of course, he would open himself up to being dropped in the main, to being caught out of position. But with the amount of gateways he's got, he's more than enough. What's his probe count, by the way? Uh, we're at 46 now against 43. 46. Uh, mm. And he just saw this double drop load up. I don't think an attack is good, but the, the he may try it, though. He's got a probe and pile on the left-hand side here. I think he may go with mm. how many gateways he has. Yeah, it's a little bit risky here. Full if Flash was to forces. see this and not lose units, I'm at, oh, this drop could even work. Yeah, like, because he doesn't know the position okay, well, of that he's exactly. Gonna turn back. He's going to come back and defend with these units. But he knows there's units out on the map. He saw that Colossus is building bunkers. Vi two Vikings out, two more on the way. This is a risky move from Hero. Yeah, he needs the second Colossus with this, that's for sure. Uh, it's actually back home. Not really moving out just yet. Well, that's interesting. I think he was expecting that drop. Yeah, is he just kind of... This is a bit more of a bait out to play over defensively, but the third command center's finished. It's well, he gets How much can this bunker. really do? Yeah, I mean, uh, Flash can afford to lose SCVs here, remember, too. Uh, but there's four Vikings out. There's about to be a fifth and sixth on the way. Uh, just about to finish here. Because this Stalker's not a blink, he's got to yeah, be careful. Yeah, I mean, he's got the Twilight Council coming in. Sure, he's not going to stay on this for too long. Yeah. There's Forge coming in as well. He's, yeah, it was, a, it was a risky move, and I... Could have worked if Flash hadn't have expected it, but he expected this. He saw it. Yeah. So holding on strong behind all of this, uh, Hero was trying to take a third with a probe sent out to his third location, but he got killed off by a Marine. So uh, Flash technically a little bit of supply blocked whilst all this is going on. Hero's not going to give up the assault just yet. Three, you're not breaking three bunkers. No. My ship core's already gone. Oh, I had full energy. That's kind of sad. Just to get into the Colossus. He's going to be so careful. Great micro by Flash, though, just moving forward. Using the range of the uh, Vikings and pulling back again. But uh, Hero will fall back, will expand, will continue his tech choice. But this does open him up to a potential, uh, you know, bit of weakness now. He could have had an even bigger army because that Nexus could have already been built and he could have already been powering up for the mid game rather than putting pressure on Flash, who didn't take any losses. The only thing Flash didn't do was take his third command center and yeah. keep up with supply depots. He's actually just kind of been building behind all this, which I think, you know, Flash is in a pretty decent setup. But we know Flash likes a pull SCVs. This could be an opportunity to do so. There's no upgrades for the, the for the Protoss. Um, they did skip up on the Forge to get this push out. And it's four Colossi that is going to be going up against, well, right now it's eight Vikings. Uh, but if he wanted to, he could have a whole lot more firepower behind that. Because yeah. Flash well, has caught his opponent out of position. Yeah. <laughs> look, at, look at the mini map. It's kind of bad. One army and the other army. It's he can stim denied. and kill this. Scans oh. the army. He's like, well, all right, he's going to come from this way. I'm going to use my Vikings to kill the Colossus. There's the Stim. He's trying to get this killed off quickly. Uh, nice little position, as you said. Blink is not done, so it's really hard to pursue those Vikings properly. One Colossus is going to fall, and he actually got forces to cancel. That's all he needed to do, really, I feel. Yep. 
but he may lose all his Vikings. Yeah, and he only got two. Well, he got two Colosso, right? But an extra one's about to be replenished, so he'll have three and against. He lost all his Vikings that. to kill his third. So oh. that was good, sure. But as long as Flash doesn't die now, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> he may. I mean, there's still two Colossus, and he lost all his Vikings. But uh, the second starport, whilst all of that was yeah. going on, was intrinsic in this plan. Yep. If he actually gets the deny on it, and for some reason loses all the Vikings, then he has a fast, fast replenishment. Path. And he's in the open, which means Flash can fight if he spreads out well. Nice bait there. A few force fields go down, not too much. Yeah, uh, look at that. You can't really fight. <laughs> no, that's too big a concave. Yeah, it's a beautiful position. I mean, time warp can help out. I think there's energy for it, so. Yeah. Left hand side now, like right in the middle of the, the map. SCV is going to pull away at uh, this and uh, forces the lift off. So, Heroes are doing actually a good job of trying to stifle the position that Flash is in whilst all this is going on, but it's got to be careful. That's yeah. a big force from Flash. And 93. Oof. All right. So, Flash running out of minerals, actually, in his main and natural. He's really got to get this expansion down. Likewise, Hero is playing with fire, being out this far against this army. Flash really building up that Viking count, though. If that Viking count gets too high without an imminent switch coming out from Heroes and Templar Archives. Hmm. It's already at 10 with these f next four popping. So, yeah. these Colossi have to be very careful. Very careful indeed. As he chases and actually goes for the fight. Time Warp and Force Fields are going to try and delay this as much as possible, but oh. that Bio Force just doesn't care. It went through the Force Fields. Oh, dear. Wasn't a solid wall. One Colossus extra falls. Uh-oh. Spreads. Really well done. The Colossi have to retreat and run. There's really not that much left here for Hero. He doesn't have any Zealots to tank. That's the big problem. I think, uh, I think Hero might be dead here, Colaris. Ah, uh, the Bio is going to keep going. It's going to keep going. There's not that many Vikings left over. He's doing a good job of saving one of those Colossi as he micros that back. He's keeping himself just a little bit alive, but he just doesn't have anything to buffer left over. Yeah, very, very aggressive game for another four Vikings just come in and yeah. bring down the, the, the dealing damage unit here. And there we go. There's the land quickly to solidify this position. Oh, if he renders this third useless. Flash has got so moment so much momentum behind GG. him right now. He's just it looks like he's confident in his own play. He's playing well, yeah. and he just doesn't seem to be stopped very easily at the moment. Flash is starting to become the player that we've always wanted to see from him. He's slowly getting there now, and he's bringing out performances against world-class players. I think a lot of people thought that it was only just going to be a matter of time before he kind of hit the stride. But right now, like, this, is, killing it. this is the Flash period where if, if he continues on like this, then he is going to be very scary. Well, this is the best Flash has played since the earliest start of Heart of the Swarm, yeah, where he is. like uh, was playing at that MLG tournament that he did so well in. Mm, yeah. um, you know, this is this is him right now. He's playing the best StarCraft we've seen in a long, long time, and he started to figure it out. He's taken a long time to to figure out his own gameplay in StarCraft 2, but he's making it work, and he just beat you know a, a two-time Intel Stream Masters champion. He's looking to qualify for Canada, and he's doing it. He's yeah. doing everything right. And it's not just that he's winning games. He's winning them convincingly. He's looking so good. Yeah, he is. It, it's, it's getting increasingly harder to figure out how to stop him. Yeah, and it's not even just like the famed mech kind of play that it was really kind of famed for in StarCraft 1. It was, it's, you know, all of the elements. It's the bio play that he's bringing to this matchup as well. Yeah. It's the exhibits that he puts on with the <coughs> Viking counts and able to shut down the Phoenix play into Colossi right. play, blah, blah, blah. I so mean, he, he beat SOS recently in Pro League a couple of weeks yeah. back before the finals. He then beat Parting, and now he's playing well at this qualifier. He's one of he's the Terran the, hopes. He's the hype train right now, that is for sure. It's all about Flash. All right. So he's now one game away from playing in the qualification game. Against which Pig is Baby. Very important. Which I think people would favor Flash over. You know, despite Pig Baby's Looking results, at this. I think people would still favor Flash there. And he's getting closer and closer and closer to actually going to Canada, which is huge for all Canadian fans, whether it be StarCraft 2 or Brutal fans. You don't see Flash outside of Korea often. I think he played at uh, DreamHack, maybe Bucharest last year, which he didn't do very well. Mm. I think Damaga beat him in group stages. He then oh, yeah, advanced that. from group stage to then lose quite soon after as well. And, and that wasn't when he was playing very well. He played an MLG before at the very start of the, the game, but it's all about Flash. And if he was to go to Canada in a couple of weeks' time with no Pro League, a bit of practice, he could do really well. He could win. He could. He would be going in as a favorite alongside Zess. Wow. That's uh, pretty cool to think about it. <laughs> All right. Kathleen is going to be our second map. Octopus map, if you don't know the actual name and corresponding uh, to the image of it. Octopus map, yeah. Everyone knows the octopus. All right. Let's jump in. Game number two. Flash leads 1-0, and he is spawning down to the bottom right-hand corner. 
as our red Terran. It is obviously KT Flash. And over to the left-hand side, we have quite the legend of the Intel Extreme Masters himself. It is CJ's hero. The smiling cartwheel king. He likes his cartwheels. He did it both times. But he's going against a guy with a ruler. Yeah. And the guy who kicked a football with the whole of SK Telecom's names on. He had some force behind that kick, man. It was a big win. It was a big kick and a big win. Yeah. Some force. All right. So I, I'm now looking at how Flash is dispatching of these Protoss players. I have to give him the edge in it's, this entire qualifier. It's so good to watch because he's deflecting all ins. Mm -hmm. He's reading the game well. He has answers to every move that Protoss do, and he knows when to attack. Like, it's really, really impressive the way that he's playing recently. He's switching yeah. up his build as well to keep him a little bit mystified, whether it be Reaper opening or Command Center first. It's really, really good. And it's not like... And this is where Flash goes and loses the next two games in his yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> But even if that was the case, it's still people like Hero participating, a guy that really made a fan favorite of himself when it comes to the Intel Extreme Masters. So, of course, a lot of people want to see Flash there, but if you get someone like Hero or even Pig Baby there, who did so well in WCS America, yeah. it's all right. It's all right. Uh, he's going Command Center first again. Mm. Like, yeah, I mean, like I said earlier in the broadcast, we always see Flash go Reaper. It's like his build. He always does it. But uh, the way that the reason why he always does it is Flash has always been the player to want to scout and know what's going on. But he is sacrificing that a little bit here. He sacrificed that against the Stargate play just now, by the way, but still was able to play it out. He did take losses, though, if you think about it. But uh, this game, there's no fast engine in Blade Bark on its three-player map. He doesn't know where his opponent is, so it's just going to be command center barracks, barracks. But Hero is quite fast into double gas here. This can be a decent blink map, you know, the way that Hero used to play. If you think about the natural, the natural's hard to break, obviously. Yeah. But the back is All the nice. way over here. Yeah, it's yummy. Nice area there. But, you know, the time warp got nerfed recently. The duration of the time warp has been brought down. So it is harder to execute this. Yeah. With time warp now, you really have to decide, am I going to use it mi at the very beginning of a fight to try and slow the down? Uh, or am I going to use it on the retreat to, like, kind of do some damage? But then you've got to be so confident of your ability to win the fight. It really doesn't last that long at all. It's, uh, it's far more situational now is time warp to... Uh, actually decide yeah. when you're going to use it. And, and the Stalker's even been chrono boosted out here. The Stalker being chrono boosted out is usually a sign to either A, defend against Reaper, B, to get over the map and scout what's going on, or C, to be aggressive. Yep. And, you know, all three of those are not that good in this scenario that he's playing against. Command Center first, he's not going to get any good scouting information that he, he wouldn't have got if it hadn't have been chrono boosted out. He isn't going to be able to be aggressive because there's a bunker coming in and there is no Reaper. <laughs> so every one of the reasons why this talk of being chrono boosted out is good is not effective in this game, which slows down the Nexus a little bit here. Uh, and Flash, again, has, has got the better end of the build order stick. Oh, this poor little stalker is not going to find that SCV up to the top. Obviously, he's just scouting out for where his opponent was spawning, uh, more so than not. But he could have got lucky uh, mm. as this mothership core now finds the actual location. Twilight Council. All right. I think it may be the blink. Uh, maybe. Yeah. Mothership core is trying to get an SCV on that mineral line. No, nothing. Getting a marine, maybe? No. Nope. the marine health, which can be good, of course, if he's looking to follow up with a blink stalker attack. But it's the weak ones in the bunker. Very, very uh, nice that, use of that. That SCV from Flash, I think, on the minimap's been pushed back too. Oh, no. This little fella. Oh, something else. Oh, I thought it was a uh, SCV or something. He's scouting out very avidly for that SCV. That's for yeah. sure. Because yeah. he knows that it's going to be there somewhere and he wants to keep hidden he what he's currently want doing. He doesn't to be scouted, man. No, not at all. Observer could come from that. Uh, Robotics facility here, if he was to go blink play. There we go. All right. So he could get some extra vision. Uh, but usually you like to see the gateways rushed in a little bit here. Blink doesn't necessarily need to be aggressive, though. It can be used as a defensive ability, too. Um, Ooh, found it. Oh, he did. That's really nice, actually, there yeah. for Hero. So the way that uh, most Terrans play uh, is just to scan after you lose the SCV to see if it is the robotics facility, see the timing of it or something. But Flash has been, uh, today, not not scanning no, he hasn't, as often. Right. At this stage of the game. He's going to send another SCV the long way around yeah. by the looks of things. Yeah, pylons, but probe, and oh my Ooh. god, you're joking. Oh no, he doesn't see it. Okay, <gasps> I was going to say. Oh, sneaky. He's getting around to the third base as well, if that's the area he's going towards to see if the Nexus is down. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, he's definitely looking for that. I mean, we already saw him looking for it previously against Classic. Uh, and, uh, whoa, is he just going to go straight in? I think he's actually just going to go he's straight gonna in. He's going to spot no gases, and he's also going to get up that ramp more slightly and spot the Twilight Council. No gases is huge, because that's either a third base or an attack. Yeah, Stalker, Twilight Council. And Twilight. Oh, and the Chrono Boost and into Robo. it as well. Oh. God damn it, this guy. How does he do it? He gets a perfect scout off there. It's a little bit late, so I guess it's not perfect, but a good scout. Look at where he's already positioned. Uh, he's got to be careful, though, because all the units can go to his natural. And yeah, jump with on that one marine in there. Missile turret? Just oh, in case, doesn't. DT's yeah. observer. Yeah, he has to be careful, I guess. More so observer, I would imagine, but... All right. Well, no bunkers extra have been placed down, so this kind of... Well, I mean, it looks like um, Hero has actually kind of abandoned the idea of a bigger attack. Well, it's and been spotted. Yeah, now. It's long time ago. He's only on three gateways anyway. There's the Observer. You may just scan and pop that one. Pop a cap. Would be nice. Um, a couple more Stalkers warped in here. Warp Prism on the way. Robotics Bay as well, so there's a follow-up to this. But so far, so good for Flash, and he's pulling ahead in supply. Stalkers are going to poke at the front. Uh, uh it kind of sells the image that he's getting a bit more aggressive. Yeah, like Flash doesn't even pull SCVs. He's like, no, he doesn't care. I don't actually. <laughs> One SC, he comes along. He's like, I, fine. I pee off me. <laughs> <laughs> double forge. So here he's just completely out of this now. You know, double forge coming in. He's going to be looking at upgrades, play the game out defensively. Long game. Uh, but Flash, this is very little unfazed. overreaction. Yeah, uh, unfazed. Just whatever, man. You, you keep trying to figure out how to beat me, and I'm just going to keep crushing you, Protoss players. Yeah. This third command center, it just shows the confidence in Flash's ability here. He's like trying for this warp prism at the back, oh, but... This will be, if he stims and snipes that, I'm going to go crazy. you got to pay attention, Hero. you got to pay attention. He's skirting the very edge, the very perimeter. I don't think he actually saw How it. Flash not see that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, well. All right. Well, at least he gets a pylon for his troubles. This army's still here, and oh, now he's he stims seen it, up. He's seen it. He's seen it. Ooh. And... Pick up and get out. has gone. All right, so that is a big threat. You know, there's a lot of airspace uh, around Flash's base in these positions, so that warp prism 100% a threat. But right now, well, I mean, Hero's got opened up with a blink play. It's it's not that good. He didn't really do that much. He's quite, uh, well, not quite far behind, but a little bit behind him where he should be, obviously, with his upgrades and Colossus count. The power behind Flash's production as well is just so strong here. With the five barracks now up and running, with the star pot yeah, churning I mean, away... Command center first, untouched. <laughs> yeah, this exactly. Is a player who did try to get a couple of uh, abilities and units out to do a bit of damage. It did nothing. Marines here with a bunker being added on as well to protect this whilst getting aggressive on the other side. Hero now has to position his units in such a way to deny on multiple fronts because that's yeah. exactly what could happen here from Flash. I think it's going to be very hard for Flash to break here on two bases. Oh, so yeah. Flash should be looking to take his third instantly now and just looking to power up. His heroes on two bases, sure he's locked down and can't take damage, but his overall uh, ability to build units will be will be lessened. He doesn't have a high amount of uh, gateways, a massive income because he doesn't have a third down yet. Flash has a couple of options. Does he start to try to drop the main now the third has been placed, now that hero is expanding across three bases? Does he try to drop around the third and get a third uh, cancel or something? Does he try an SCV pull? Yeah, I mean, because of the positions that they've spawned in, it's a little bit harder to really get that third denial. He has to go a really long way around uh, if he doesn't want to be spotted. But at the same time, you know, his third command center was finished and then landed before the commands, uh, the Nexus had really even gotten going. So that's a good position for Flash. He's so up in terms of supply as well. His army is doing pretty darn well. Hmm. All right. Ghost Academy even being added on just for safety. I think he's he knew pulling the boys. Yeah? Oh, with one the three zero, ghosts. One zero ahead. Yeah. Pull the boys, big man. He's got the Viking count high. He's got a decent income. Um, Heroes messed up the way that the start of the game didn't give him any added benefits, which is obviously always the goal if you're going to try to do something like this. He's going to pull the boys. I, you know, he, he usually pulls them about 170 or supply. A couple of ghosts in the mix. Um, the Colossus count's only at three, maybe four by the time this hits. Well, it will be four. He, if he can hit right before 2-2, two, two, good timing. Yeah. Good timing, which should be able to be hit. No, I, I, I agree. I mean, there's nothing else being produced other than these three ghosts. He has very little money. He could hit really hard. That warp prism on the left-hand side is the only big threat to this kind of thing if he goes in and does some damage to the uh, back. But even then, he's just looking to finish it here as Flash anyway. So Yeah, he's, he's going to pull the boys, no doubt in my mind. Yeah, they gotta come. Um, no doubt. 
Well, he's doing all right in the middle anyway. He's like, even without SCVs, <laughs> like whatever, man. It's, I'm Flash. What's up? All right, here we go. Pull the boys, choo choo. All right, Flash. All right, this is his ticket to the final game of the day if he's able yeah. to make this work. And I mean, Hero is quite <laughs> down in terms of supply himself as well. He's 76 army supply against a lot of army supply. Well, there's so many Vikings. The Colossus won't do anything here. And all he's got to do is keep his Marauders and Marines outside the range of the Colossus. Uh, I'm wondering if he's planning on dropping some of those Marauders on top of the Colossi. Uh, that's no, of, okay, that's too fancy. That's a bit of a mistake. Yeah, it's a bit weird. There we go. Um, okay, drop some. 2-2 two is two's done. 2-2 two two's done. But the position is so superior here for Flash. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mothership Core has died off. No force and overcharge at this natural at all. The army of the Protoss is quite split here. Zealot's not doing too bad on this left flank, pinning this army up against it, but he doesn't have anything more to complement. There's really not that many gateway units left over. Here come the reinforcements to try and push away this, and the Colossi are just going to die, as is the gateway force. Flash here is absolutely dominating these Protoss players. Absolutely incredible performances again by Flash, and I don't think it's going to be held on. No, the Protoss oh, instantly no. <laughs> dies. Ghost coming in. It didn't even bring the Ghost. G. Flash. What is going on? It's Flash time. Wow. He keeps on doing it, man. Win after win after win. Of course, he lost versus Zest earlier on in the winner bracket, but win after win after win. Classic, the GSL champion. Well, I suppose we can still call him the reigning champion to a certain degree. I guess yeah. he's lost in the round 32, but he won last season. You know, he's now just beaten Hero, who is a champion at the Intel Stream Masters. Flash has one opponent left. Pig baby. One best of three. Wins it. Flash is going to Canada. It's and he keeps he keeps killing champions. That's that's the thing. He just keeps killing champions. He has one more left. WCS America champion season two. He's already beaten the Korean champion. Time to beat the American one next. All right. Join us after the break, guys, when we have the final series of the day. I was about to say night. Is <sighs> it going to be Flash or Pig Baby going to the Intel Extreme Masters Toronto?